Hey guys, hey, I am confident that spring is finally going to get here one of these days. It's finally going to warm up. And when it warms up, the water's going to warm up. And when that happens, I think I need a new wake bait. So today, we're going to paint me a new wake bait. Stick with me. All right, guys, we are going to do our wake bait. And I have pre painted it black. This was done yesterday, and I used rattle, just a rattle can, spray paint it black. We're going to put on a wrap. So let me take it off from that. What we're going to use, this is the wrap I use. This is a floral ribbon. I get it at Hobby Lobby. So if you go to Hobby Lobby, go down to the fake flowers section, and it's a floral ribbon. All right. Now, use one before. When you get these, when you look at it close, this side is smooth. This side's got some little bumps on it. So what I always try to do is make sure I put little bumps to the outside so you don't end up scratching. Though I have to admit, since I moved on to rattle cans in this for my base coats, I don't have the scratching problem I used to have when I used the regular Createx paint. But anyway, when you first get it, ball it up, roll it around, ball it up, because it's awful stiff. That way you can kind of loosen it up just a little bit. This one's been used a time or two, as you can see. Not as bad as this one. This one I've used a lot of times. Maybe it's time I got a new one for that, huh? All right. Let's take and put this down. And this one's going to be... Let's see if I can hook this. Nope. This has got a funny head to it. So, oops, there we go. So sometimes this can be a little tough to get this on. Ah, there we go. See, I messed it up. The, uh, excuse me, the head. Tell you what, I wonder if I can hook that. There we go. That might help. I hooked the uh, hook eye in there. Maybe that'll help hold it a little bit. Boy, I'd like that to be down more. I wonder if I can hook that over the back one. Probably doing this out of the camera and you can't see it. Huh? There we go. Got it hooked on the back side too. Now let me put a clip in the front here quick. Put a couple of them like that. That should hold that into place. A lot of people use the alligator clips. I know most people do. I found these hair breadths work real well. That's just what I've used. And let's see if we can get that over there, top of that, too. Sorry if I'm doing this out of the camera. I'm going to put one more on there. There we go. That'll hold it. There we go. All right. Now we're in. There we go. Now we got it. Bend that down a little. There we go. All right. So now it's black, but before we put colors, we need a base coat. And I always use white as my base coat. I've used the Createx white. I'm starting to use just apple barrel white just because I ran out of the Createx. And I figure white is white. I thin this down some. Hopefully I didn't thin it too much. We'll find out here. Huh? Just going to paint it white all over. And all we're trying to do, if you haven't seen me do this before, I'm just trying to lighten it up so that when I put on the colors later, the colors will look right. If you try to paint light colors over black, it just isn't going to work. There we go. I think that's good enough. Oh, wait a minute little on the tail there, just in case some fish tries to sneak up behind it. We want to make sure it's right on there too, don't we? Alright, that's good. Let me clean this out. We're going to move on to colors and it's going to be real simple. It's only going to be two colors. Alright, now let's move on to colors. And I guess we can't really say the first color is even going to be a color. because It's still going to be white. But I love the pearlized white on the bellies. You just get a little extra something out of the pearl eyes. At least that's my opinion. So that's why I'm using it. 
And we're just gonna do the bottom half. We'll probably go up to the lateral line with the pearl eyes. If you go farther, it isn't really gonna hurt anything. And really get the belly good, because when you got the wrap on it like that, it can sometimes be hard to get that in. All right, that's good. Let me clean up and we'll move on to another color, an actual color. All right, for the back, Createx Pearl Copper, pearlized paint, copper color. underneath that lip. Pearlized. I'm getting out of the tail end of the pearlized copper and I think it's getting a little thick in there. <laughs> Might have to start thinning that down a little bit. We're getting there. Alright, gotta go underneath that lip though. Under the nose. There we go. All right, got my white belly, got my pearl there. All right, I said two colors, but I think we're gonna add a third color. Hang on, we're gonna put another color on this. I got my pearlized white on the bottom, got my pearlized copper on top. Let's add another color on the very top. Going back to Walmart, Apple Barrel Burnt Umber, or in other words, brown. All right, let me get a little glot. Ooh, boy, I got carried away with that, didn't I? Don't need nearly that much, and plus we gotta water it down to boot. Let's get it thinned down just a little bit. Stir it up a little. I think I need it a little thinner than that. Real scientific there, isn't it, guys? You know, my pup is sitting outside the door and I can hear him out there. He hears me and I can hear him. He's kind of whining. He probably wants in. But he's a little noisy sometimes. So, all right. Let's try. Right down the back. Don't get over to the sides any. There we go. Let's do that. Should we do that face? I want to do a little of that face too. If I'm doing the face, I gotta do the nose. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm glad we did that. That's so much better. All right. Now, gonna need to dry this really good before we pull the wrap off. You got the heat gun? Let's get it dry. All right, let's see where we are. Let's see which ones of these I can get off. Get you off the butt, there we go. Oh yeah, now, the color combination on the outside, anything you want underneath. You could have put red, uh, green, I mean any, you can use any color you want on that base. I did a black here. I'm kind of liking that. I'm glad we did the brown. You got to have that, not always, but a lot, you need that two-tone up here sometimes to really set it off. One tone will get you a fish, two-tone will probably make it look a little better. Need some eyes and a top coat. I got some gold eyes. I think gold eyes are going to look really good in this one. All right, we'll do that. We'll come back. Well, there we go, guys. And I think I got a lure that'll catch some fish. You know, in a lot of cases, you can get by with two colors. I could have got by with the, with the white and the copper, and I'd have probably been okay, especially with doing a wrap. But adding that brown to the top, that little bit, can really set off the lure sometimes. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.